Hi everyone, welcome back. I know it has been several, several months. And if I'm being completely honest, I am not doing particularly well right now, mentally and emotionally. So there's a particular video that I've been meaning to make that will be next, but right now I just would like to get this out there because I feel like it was recent and it's easier for me to edit, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, I'm okay in a general sense, but I just wanted to let you guys know that if I seem a little bit off or like everything isn't okay, it's just a me thing right now. I'm actually breaking out pretty much everywhere on my face and a little bit on my body as well. Um, so I will be okay and I appreciate any patience. So here's what happened. Pride in Albuquerque was this year. It was last week. The whole month is Pride Month, but last week were a bunch of events happening up in Albuquerque. And so I had signed up to do an open mic. And so last Friday, my family and I went up there and we were waiting in, I was in the audience to do the show. I didn't realize and they hadn't mentioned. So, you know, it's it happens, it's okay and ended up working out okay but that I wasn't in basically like the staging area. So I didn't get to go on and they ended the show without me. But to basically make it up to me and as a rescheduling of events, they allowed me to open up for the drag show that was on the other stage the following day. I'm extremely grateful to Albuquerque Pride. I'm so thankful that I was even allowed to be a part of it. I think I was the only comedian there all weekend. The other acts were drag queens or musical acts, lip syncs things like that. So I'm grateful to have been a part of it. It was the biggest crowd that I've ever performed for. So I was a little nervous. I think you'll probably be able to tell. I did forget a joke and not tell them as well as I would have liked to, but I also haven't done stand up in quite a while. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm very glad I was allowed to go. Also, I had to save the video from my Instagram live because somebody who may or may not be my brother was not recording for the first five of the seven minutes of footage that I was on stage. Hooray! <laughs> so let's go ahead and bring up your first entertainer for today. Please give it up for Cassandra Woo! Ramirez! Ramirez. <laughs> Thank you so much. Everybody give it up for Tomahawk Martini. Woo! Support your local queens. I tell you guys what, I am hotter than a bear in line at the bar bathroom at the moment. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys coming out. Um, you probably can't tell by looking at me, uh, but I'm bi, racial. So sorry, ladies. <laughs> Something that I feel like a lot of people say or have this mentality of is that sexuality is a choice, right? And I couldn't disagree more, you know, because I'm an ally and I just don't believe it. Like, do you think that I would willingly choose disappointment and mediocre sex <laughs> if I had to? Because I don't. Hi, editing me here. Um, the setup to this joke is clap if you're in this audience and you have a uterus. Are you guys as sick of this as I am? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is a true story. I've been begging for my doctor to give me a hysterectomy since I was 19. And it's always met with the same response, you know? They'll say, well, what if you change your mind and want children? Children in this economy? No, couldn't be me. <laughs> and I, I, I just, you know, I know I'm never gonna change my mind about it. And even if I did, if I want one, I'll buy one, okay? It's not a concern of mine. Speaking of which, why is it that pregnant bellies are sweet and endearing, but mine is repulsive and not allowed out at Walmart? <laughs> Seems like a double standard to me. I am straight. I have dated the men's. Again, disappointing. And uh, I don't know if this has ever happened to any of you guys, but for some reason, men seem to like to send unsolicited photos of themselves to women. Um, and so I have a piece of advice for any of the straight men in the audience. The best time to do that is never. So please stop. <laughs> but one time this happened, well, not one time, a bunch of times it happened to me. And uh, it was very odd because it was super early in the morning. Um, so I was opening my phone. I had just woken up. 
and I was checking all my social medias, or as I like to call it, reading the paper, and uh, I got a Snapchat from this random guy. Now, this was years ago, but at the time, my Snapchat was public, so anybody could send me anything at any time. Um, but just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. So this gentleman decided to send me a photo of himself, and so, you know, I just deleted it. But do you ever have those instances in life where you think about something that you could have said to like win an argument or a better comeback, but it's already after the fact, so you just have to keep it to yourself? Well, that happened to me. Um, so this gentleman was not very blessed, let's say, down there. And so, um, since I had just blocked him, I couldn't say anything. But I did think of three uh, follow or three things that I could have said to him as a response. I could have asked a follow-up question to his question to me, which was, do you like what you see? And said, where's the rest of it? I could have also said it looked like a button in a fur coat, which was also true. Or the third and final thing that I really wish I would have thought of to say, but I didn't, was, not only is mine 100% silicone, but it's bigger. Thank you guys so much for letting me open for your show. Um, we have some amazing queens coming up, and I just wanted to say this as well, um, that I just so much appreciate uh, Albuquerque Pride for letting me participate uh, and be the only comedian here this weekend. There's some amazing mu musical acts. Please support your local queens. They go through so much and are so important to this community. Um, and I just love and respect drag. And all of you guys here, have an amazing, safe weekend. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you can like, comment, subscribe down below. I just got my nails done, so excuse all the <laughs> movements. I do feel like that bitch. I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully next week, but we'll see. Okay, bye.